New Jersey has incurred some of the, the most difficult pollution and, and man-made uh, damages to our natural resources of any state. Also in New Jersey, we are so fortunate that they've been able through the years to learn how to take those damaged natural resources and turn them from a negative to a positive. I can't think of any other office than the Office of Natural Resource Restoration from the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. There are better experts anywhere in the world at taking something that's damaged to a public amenity. So right behind me, we're at the Kramer Hill Waterfront Park, formerly the Harrison Avenue landfill, that for decades was a landfill, for decades also an unregulated landfill. You can imagine what was in there. So think about going from that to such an incredible positive amenity for the community. We applaud and thank the Office of Natural Resource Restoration. Through the design process, uh, bidding, and we are actually wrapping up construction uh, of the project very shortly at 62 acres. It was an unclosed landfill uh, that was leaching PCBs and other contaminants into the Delaware River. It's been completely remediated and we are making it safe for the public to uh, access natural resources that haven't been available uh, largely to the community that, that sits adjacent to the landfill. So this is a tremendous opportunity to, to get people in touch with natural resources. Uh, and those natural resources are open waters for fishing, um, wetlands, so there'll be bird watching, there's trails, um, there's you know, lots of passive recreation uh, that, that can occur on this project site. And um, you know, I'm lucky to be part of the office that, that collected the money from polluters, uh, which made that project possible. Um, we advanced the design through design contractors that we have, and uh, DEP was able to bid that project out and oversee the construction as well. So uh, quite, quite a privilege to be involved with that project. The fishing plaza was constructed inside the fishing pond. The fishing pond is a two acre water feature of the park that was at one time all solid waste. The solid waste material was removed, they contoured the pond and created certain features and structures within that is now providing habitat for all different types of fish. The amount of solid waste material relocated around the site was roughly 400,000 cubic yards, which is an awful lot of material. And the fishing pond is one of the largest areas where material has been removed. What I find really neat about the pond itself is it opens up a whole new world for the Kramer Hill residents and surrounding communities. And what I hope for and truly think will happen is children who are living close to the park may come here and fish for the first time ever. They will be able to compare their catch with some of the fish species identified on the fishing pond interpretive sign located in the plaza. And my hope is that this experience will spark a little bit of an interest in the new resource and open up a whole new world for them to enjoy. Just over my right shoulder is our pedestrian bridge. This offers access to the park from the East State Street parking lot as well as a great view of the kayak channel and the fishing pond. Below that bridge is a weir that controls the height of the water in the pond. During high tide, kayakers can come in and enjoy this part of the park that was once a landfill. And the park will be able to offer all those unique recreational opportunities to those who decided to either launch from here or paddle in from the Cooper River and come to the park, walk around, and then get back into their kayaks and go back to their original destination. There are now so many more opportunities for people to be connected through these local waterways. I enjoy kayaking often on the Delaware back channel. Now with the Kermit Hill Waterfront Park, we'll be able to kayak and launch right here. And I'm looking forward to uh, kayaking through the beautiful path leading into the Delaware um, and kayaking maybe over to Philadelphia um, as I've done before. And I'm really looking forward to doing that with my 12 year old. So right now we're at the top of the highest point of the site. It's called the Summit Vista and it overlooks the confluence of the Delaware and Cooper Rivers. Behind us, you can see the amazing views of the Philadelphia skyline. If you continue to look down towards the river itself, we have the other observation areas, this here being the first, with the second one slightly more north. So the trash still remains on site underneath our feet. It was just manipulated and moved around and then properly capped. 
there may be some settling and that's the reasons why the park will not be open to the public for one year after construction, allowing for that settlement to occur. During the one year time frame, any settlement will be addressed to make sure that everything will be safe for the public to use in the fall of 2021 when it is anticipated the park will be open. Throughout the sensory garden, we have placed a couple of granite pieces that came from the old Camden Courthouse built in 1906. And then in 1950, Camden had constructed a new courthouse and pieces of the old courthouse built in 1906 ended up in this landfill. So what we did was we found some of those granite pieces during excavation and reused them by displaying them throughout the sensory garden. So as part of the design and to bring folks from the community into the park itself, we have a number of other passive recreational features that we feel the public will thoroughly enjoy. These are all on top of the water features we have seen and discussed today. Again, this site and all of these unique opportunities we have constructed was on top of the converted landfill that has not been available to the surrounding community for over seven decades. So I was born here and raised in the city of Camden and all my life driving by, you just, it, it was a landfill, right? And so landfill is just a big hump, but not only was it just a landfill, it, there was overgrown weeds that almost the size of trees. And that is the vision that, you know, residents have had um, for centuries. And so being able to now drive by, um, see the beautiful Philadelphia skyline view um, and see so much greenery space um, and see so many amenities that are available for residents to enjoy and that look enjoyable and inviting um, is something that I am already looking forward to. So in addition to the Harrison Avenue project, which our office is deeply connected with, um, we were able to paddle upstream and see uh, other properties um, that, that could someday present other future um, restoration opportunities. And we thank the Upstream Alliance for, for organizing uh, this outing and collecting people that, that have sp uh, specific areas of expertise that, that had the ability to share with us uh, their vision and other, and other possible uh, restoration and land acquisition. Um, in, in this area. So there's a lot of promise um, looking forward uh, for this area to uh, restore and enhance natural resources as well as provide public access. Working um, with Don and with Carrie and with our other Discover the Delaware partners of the vision of this area and, and around Petty's Island so the idea of making a 13 mile water trail and an eight mile greenway, as well as going beyond that. I mean, we're, we're calling it an eight mile greenway, but it's connected to the 32 miles of greenway that the county's planning to make with the Camden County Link Trail. I think the, the thing that I think about with Harrison Ave, with uh, what will be Kramer Hill Waterfront Park is that it will become sort of that linchpin that uh, anchor of the rest of these parks. Uh, it's such a, a huge project and I think a lot of people grew up with this being this, this open wound in the city uh, and now to have that cleaned up to be repaired and taken care of this way and to such an extent and to give people a place to come to the river again is such an opportunity and I think can really be that, you know, that heart of this Greenway.